This reflection on family secrets made me think of several important things about the way LGBT people come into the world as lesbian, gay, or transgender, or bisexual people. The first reality, of course, is that all LGBT people grow up in families. They are originated families, they grow up in families. And that's true even if they live in institutions, um, because institutions attempt, however, in adequate often, to create family-like institutions. Now, families, by their very nature, in the way families are constituted in the modern world, seem to invalidate the non-heterosexual experience. The essence of the constitution of the family is a heterosexual bond. At least that was true until very recently. So all families, if they conform to the heterosexual norms, as most of them did until very recently, invalidate LGBT offspring because they don't conform to the norms of that family. So homosexuality is the secret born in the heart of the prime heterosexual institution. And this is true whatever you think the causes of homosexuality are, or like me think causation is totally irrelevant. But if you believe, for instance, that uh, homosexuals and non-heterosexual people generally are genetically exposed to this, then you must believe that the genes have come through both the parents, and therefore the parents are to blame for the um, homosexuality of their children. If, as I would like to believe, there's a lot in the Freudian explanation that uh, um, our sexual dispositions are shaped within the family, then again, the family can be blamed for whatever its offspring do through the equal crisis or the irresolution of the equal crisis. Or, and I think there's a strong element of truth in this, if the way we speak of identities are shaped in society, in the interactions in society, then again, the prime place where we begin to interact is in the family and in the school. And so therefore, the family again is at the heart of the creation of the homosexual. And therefore, looking at it historically, there's a prime paradox, and a really unresolved paradox, that the family creates homosexuals in a literal sense, and yet until very recently, families tended to reject homosexuals.